Welcome back to the channel. I am paying a visit to my friend Louise of Aquarium. I was just passing by because I have a customer uh, that I need to finish the paludarium uh, that I am creating for him. And uh, I just came around just to see how the tank looks like and uh, it's looking amazing. It's not fully of color, the shape is probably, probably not perfect, but I think they will get it right in the future. So let me show you how the tank looks like and give you some insights about it, okay? There is a, some noise over here. I'm not using my normal camera or microphone. I'm just using the, the mobile phone. So I hope the sound is okay. You guys can hear me. And let me show you some close-ups of the tank. Well, uh, let me show the tank. Uh, this is 150 by 60 by 50 centimeters high. This tank was caped in December 4th. Uh, during a live aquascaping event here at the aquarium. Uh, this is a nature aquarium with a V-shape. However, all the, the way of the stem plants are going in. Uh, it's too rounded for my own taste. I already told them just to trim all the plants in this way so we can have a better uh, vanishing point and uh, also a better uh, V-shape um, style aquascape. Uh, plants also need to get a little bit of color because they uh, probably they are facing some CO2 issues regarding to those small algae over there but uh, I think this is one by just trimming it uh, making the shapes a little better improve a little bit the flow uh, I think this will be okay because as you can see that is one uh, outflow over there and one in this side uh, Probably they are injecting CO2 in the two exits, but since there is no movement over there, there is no flow in this part. And as you guys can see, there is the only part that is facing some small algae issues, but in general, the tank and uh, the plants are growing nicely and very healthy. Probably is fertilizing a little bit more than before, because I remember to see a picture of this one uh, a little bit, uh, I think it's three weeks ago and all the plants were very very colorful uh, but I think by some reason it started to fertilize and give a little bit more of nutrients probably to repair from uh, the major trimming that it did and uh, all the plants started growing so so fast and uh, was not um, uh, achieving the nice coloration uh, as um, all H era orange shoes usually get um, get that color. So do we have here a loopy light? This is a very very strong lighting system. This is the model I think 146. There is so many LEDs on it. This is so powerful, and that is not the issue or a problem in this tank regarding the light. But I believe more is is on the fertilization routine and the tank. Uh, from what I have seen two, three weeks ago and growing so much in that short time, I'm pretty sure it was fertilizing a lot in this one. And maybe just to try to get rid of those algae, but this one, they will go only when they uh, improve a little bit the, the V-shape on this one. And improving the V-shape over here, that will also um, benefit the, the growth the shape and also all those algae, uh, they will be gone. So let's take a general view of the tank. So you can take, I'm really sorry about all reflection that we see on the side, but there is no way. Uh, here around now is 3 p.m. There is some, uh, so much light coming from the window or from the side of the shop. There is no way just to record it without any reflection at all. Maybe if I uh, talk with him and come back uh, someday around 7 p.m. or 8, uh, we will try to avoid it.
it is done. Now I just need to get my car, I need to go to finish the, the polydonium. Not completely finished because I still need some time just to glue the back wall and everything ready over there. Uh, I will intend to bring you a new video quite soon. Uh, so maybe I can inspire you to do something similar at home. And um, see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.